You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you some top tips on how to stop the bar from crashing on you in the clean. What's going on YouTube? It's Sunny Webster here, 2016 Olympian. I've got a personal best clean of 200 kilos or 440 pounds. Now let's talk about the common reasons as to why the bar normally crashes on people. First common reason is that people are rushing down into their receiving position. When I talk about rushing down, it's doing this super quickly while the bar's up here, which creates a lot of distance between bar and you, which then causes the bar to come down on top of you when you're at your end of range, which is, again, causing the crashing. Second thing that causes a big issue, well, in my opinion, for bar crashing is when people let go of their hook grip. Letting go of the hook grip allows for this disconnection between you and the bar. It's up here and you're holding it to your fingertips, which in turn causes the same issue to happen and that bar to crash on you. So the first thing that I want you to think about when I want you to be more efficient in your clean and stop the bar from crashing on you is to fix the meeting point of you and the bar. Now, when I talk about that meeting point, I'm talking about the point in which after you've finished your pull, so you pull the bar to as high as you can, actually meeting the bar at its highest point before you go down into the bottom position. This helps you de-accelerate the bar into the catch. As the weight naturally gets heavier, you're not gonna be able to pull the bar as high, which means that that point will get lower and lower and lower to a sub-maximal lift where it's much more likely that the bar will crash on you where you'll meet just before that bottom position. Now this is important because by deaccelerating the bar into the bottom position allows you to gain control of it before you change direction or catch your bounce out of the bottom position. Picture it like this, if you were to take out your maximum front squat and you just went down like that, BAM! Okay? You've then got to change direction with that weight at the bottom, which makes it very difficult. The weight's coming down on top of you as you're trying to change direction, and it'll feel like double the load. Whereas in actual fact, when I'm doing a heavy front squat or trying to receive a clean, I'm de-accelerating while I'm trying to go down under control in this bottom position, so that when I change direction, I don't lose form or shape when I'm standing up at the hole. The exact same thing is happening when we're doing a clean. So our first top tip is to think about meeting the bar at the top of the pool before you go down into a bottom position. Now you're not riding the bar down, which a lot of people get confused with, you're de-accelerating. You're showing control with the bar before you hit the bottom position. The second thing, keeping the hook grip in, is a little bit more challenging. This is something that I didn't learn until after six years of my Olympic weight thing, which I wish I did, because it would have made me much more efficient in my clean. Now keeping the hook grip in on the clean refers to, as I'm catching the clean up here on my shoulders, I'm maintaining the hook grip here as I receive the bar. Maintaining the hook grip allows me to keep control of the bar before I hit the bottom, as opposed to not, which causes the crash. One of the key reasons why people don't tend to do this or find it difficult, is because it requires a huge amount of front rack mobility. So if this is something you know is limiting your ability to be able to keep the hook grip in, then what I would suggest is two things. First of all, start putting some front rack mobility drills and exercises into your warm-up routine. Again, go and check out the Weightlifters Mobility Manual, which has got a great protocol that you can follow to improve your mobility. Secondly, I'm gonna just give you a couple right now. Think about spending time doing front rack rotations, for example, in your front rack, but also practicing your close grip overhead squats so you get used to staying upright in your bottom position. Both these things will make it easier for you to keep that hook grip in when you're going into a clean position. Second thing, narrow your grip very slightly. Narrowing the grip will make it easier for you to maintain a full grip in the receiver the clean. And secondly, if like me, you're already six, seven years into your Olympic weight thing, or 17 as I am, Trying to start doing this now is going to be challenging. And at the time when I started to incorporate the hook grip, I was already cleaning 160 kilos. But at the time when I started to do it, I could only do a 100 kilo clean and maintain the hook grip. So what I would do is just every time I'm doing a clean session in my warm up, 
I would just try and get a little bit heavier, a little bit heavier each month on what weight I could get to before the hook grip started coming out. Like I said, incorporating these two things in your training routine for your cleans is gonna allow you to cushion and receive that bar a little bit smoother and become more efficient. In turn, lifting heavier in the clean, not getting stuck in the bottom position so much on the clean, and then having more energy to stick that jerk. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this short video on stopping the bar from crashing on your clean. I hope I made a little bit more sense for you there. If you did like this video, you got any comments or feedback, then please just stick them in the comment section below. I'm new to YouTube, I wanna keep creating more long form content for you. So make sure you like, share, subscribe, give me that feedback, and if you've been looking at this t-shirt or these shorts and can, man, they're sick, then head over to Big Friday Supplies and you can grab yourself these before they sell out. Big love, guys. Mwah.